Hi everyone. So I thought I'd give you a little tour of my boat in the field. As you all know, it's extremely custom. I built pretty well every aspect of it to be able to handle what it's doing. And I'll give you a nice little tour here. There she is. I'll start at the back. My little motor goes on my accessory mount. And this accessory mount has the motor mount option on it right now with a cleat. That holds my motor. So I can uh, run the lake or put it in the bow and still have a double ender canoe and run whitewater. And that's what I've been doing. There's the dry bag I made. Handmade that to hold the motor in the bow. Pounds into rocks all day on this trip. Sits in about four to six inches of water in the bow. Still fired up in one pole, totally bone dry, no issues, nothing broken. All right, so, got this little wire. That runs to the tilt here. So when we're on the water, I just pull that little wire. the motor drops without having to reach behind the boat motor and get up on my seat. It's a, it's a lot safer. Big upgrade as far as I'm concerned. Low rope keeps my motor with the boat when uh, it pops off the mount. Hopefully it never happens, but better safe than sorry. All right, going forward. Tiller extension. So I can comfortably sit at the seat. That tiller extension is on universal. So I still get 180 degree steer in each way and can do 360s anytime I want. Makes for tight steer and excellent. Expedition armor goes into my accessory end cap. Wraps around the seat. Now I can submerge the rear end, which is big on huge lakes with the waves coming over the back and white water. And it's made re-entry incredibly easy. Now that I can tilt, tilt the boat on its side and not take on water. Coming ahead. A Bexon pump. Drilled in. A hose runs through under the Expedition Armor. And pumps out water from under the airbags. I've got a hatch I put in here. NRS 3D airbag front and back. Moving forward. Fishing rod. Another Bexon pump there, which is goes in the hatch when I catch an eddy break and there's a lot of water in. Then I can pu pump it way faster than this little guy. But when I'm on the water and taking on water, pumping with one hand is amazing on the go. All right. Spray skirt. Handmade that baby. Got a pool noodle for flotation and keeps the water that washes from the front to the back, pushes around the sides. Works amazing. Another end cap with my figurehead. He looks out for me. Thanks, buddy. Comes on all my adventures. So this is held on by wing nuts. I took them off for the video just to make it easy, but every second one has a bolt coming through and I just put the wing nut onto it. So I'll take that off. Throw this out of the way. And we're into the canoe. Bailing bucket on a rope. Compass. These canoes have a little cooler spot. It's full of all my goods for the day. Excellent. I use bungee straps. As you can see, the eye bolts that hook to the bungee straps come through the other side. I just made them a little longer, flush with the gunnels. And then that's what my spray skirt grommets slide over. So since they're threaded both sides, roughly an inch, it makes the spray skirt adjustable. 
just twists the grommets tighter or looser and accepts a wider load. Spare paddle, 15 liters of fuel for this trip. I just brought a little extra. With the weather, might just be enough. My Expedition Portage Wheels. An axle slides into the seat there, goes under the airbag. So all that goes on the front mount. I'll show you later when I'm uh, walking my canoe over these sandbars. And then, the other end bag. There she is. So that's my setup. Oh, I might as well show you. My tackle box kind of has everything. Len Thompson rules. Extra clips for my axle. Wing nuts for my spray skirt. I usually don't run all the wing nuts. Just, just you know, five or six on each side. Remove four on the starboard side, and then it's quick, easy access to get to my barrels. Just four wing nuts, not not a ton. But when I'm running white water going into this lake, I will put every one on, batten her down tight. Extra grommet, in case one breaks, but it's been pretty incredible. I'm grabbing the side of the tarp and dragging the canoe over the rocks, and I have not had an issue at all. It's just... Just overkill strength. A little fishing chart tells me what kind of fish I catch. Bobbers. That's kind of my setup. Thanks for joining. I'm gonna take this baby across to Athabasca Lake. I'm gonna let you guys come join me for the adventure.